Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. So today I have a very fun video for you guys. I decided to kind of recreate Kylie Jenner's current go-to glam makeup look. Um, so yeah, lately she's been wearing this very nice kind of neutral brown smoky eye with a very elongated winged liner and some full lashes that look natural but full. Um, and also her iconic rosy cheeks that she's been repping right now with a very nice neutral lip color. So I was really interested in seeing how that look would look on me and I really wanted to try and recreate it. So that's what I did in this video. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I recreated this look and if you're interested in being able to recreate the look for yourself, then make sure to keep on watching. So I'm first starting off by priming my face. I'm going to be using the Smashbox Original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to concentrate this on my T-zone, which is where I have a lot of pores. So just to kind of smooth those areas out. So next, just to add a nice glow to the face, I'm going to be going ahead in with my Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist, and this is the Rose Water and Green Tea one. This is what it looks like. This is just going to refresh my skin and add a nice glow. So next, I'm jumping right into my color correcting routine. I'm grabbing my MAC Prep and Prime. This is the highlighter uh, peach luster color correcting stick. This is what it looks like. You guys have seen this in every single one of my videos. I will always use this to color correct um, the dark areas of my face. And to go over top of that, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Sand. So this is what that looks like. And just softening that out with my finger. And to blend this all out, I'm going ahead in with my e.l.f. beauty sponge. I'm so excited to try this. It is so big. So just a quick review on the e.l.f. sponge, um, it's okay, it blended everything out pretty nicely, but I find that it took up a lot of product off of my face, like it took off a lot of product. Um, I didn't realize that it would do that, this is my first time trying out the e.l.f. beauty sponges. Um, it's nice, but uh, look at that, like it took off so much product, that's crazy. Oh well. <laughs> Anyway, so now I'm going to move on to foundation. For foundation today, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Peach Perfect um, Matte Foundation. This is what it looks like. Um, usually, I mix natural beige and light beige, but right now, because I have a little bit of a tan, because I've been using this tanning face mist, which, by the way, I will be doing a review on very soon, um, I just wanted to test out the product for a couple of weeks before I gave my honest review about it. Um, so that's why right now I do have a little bit of a tanner face. So I think I'm going to just stick to using natural beige, which is the darker shade, and I'm going to not mix it with the lighter shade that I usually use. This sponge is literally soaking up all the product, guys. Like, that's crazy. Like, it's definitely blending the product, but it's also just soaking up a lot of the foundation. Dang, I did not realize this would happen. Oh. 
Okay, so next I'm going to be going ahead and concealing my under eyes, and I'm going to be using the Tarte Creaseless Concealer, and this is in the shade Light Medium Neutral. This is what it looks like. You guys, you know I am obsessed with this concealer. It has been doing wonders for my under eyes, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply some of this. And because I have kind of like a tan face going on right now because of the tanning mist that I'm using, this concealer is very, very bright and I love that look and that's kind of the look that Kylie always has going on. Like her and her sisters, they all have a very bright under eye, so this is really going to help me achieve that. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing the concealer downward. This tutorial isn't to try and mimic Kylie's face, but more her makeup style that she has going on. So she kind of has her concealer go down, not so much outwards. So I'm really concentrating this downwards onto my face. And just to do a bit of a reverse nose contour, I'm going to Take whatever excess concealer is on my sponge and add that to the sides of my nose. So just down the sides. And just put a little bit on the forehead to brighten just a bit on the chin. So to set everything in place, I'm going to be using my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in the shade Pound Cake. This is what it looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and apply some of this. Making sure to also set the sides of the nose. The thing about uh, Huda Beauty's baking powder is that it does have a uh, tint to it, so it's not exactly translucent. It is, but it also uh, has like a residue color that appears, and the um, shade Pound Cake really adds a very bright, bright under eye. That's why I'm using that today to bake. And just a tiny bit on the forehead and the chin. And just a little around the mouth. So while the under eyes are baking, I'm going to go ahead in and fill in my brows. I forgot to mention what product I'm using to do my brows. I'm using the Cabral by Benefit in the shade 04. So this is what it looks like. Alright, so brows are done. I'm going to go ahead in and wipe away all the translucent powder. And then what I like to do is I also like to push the product into the skin. So I'll wipe it away, but then I'll also make sure that it's really in there. Alright, so next I'm going to be moving on to eyes. I'm going to be grabbing my Morphe M433 brush. This is what it looks like. And for the eyes, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. So this is what it looks like. And oh my god, there's this one shade that always falls out. <laughs> so I'm just going to put this on the side. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with this shade right here. And I'm going to be kind of carving out my crease. So all I'm doing right now is carving out my crease. And I'm going to do that on the other side. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking, I'm trying to connect this part and this part of my face. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start kind of creating a shadow right here. Do that on the other side. And what this is doing is this is kind of creating the appearance of a bigger eye. 
What I'm doing right now is I'm just grabbing this KKW Beauty Brightening Powder in the shade 02. And I'm just taking a brush and I'm just cleaning up the edges of the shadow. Just making sure it's all nice and blended. Now I'm just going to create like an outer V with the same brown shade. Alright, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead in and do my eyeliner. I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. And Kylie usually has a very elongated eyeliner. It's really pulled out. So I'm going to be going ahead and doing that. So eyeliner is done, I kept the look very thin and I kind of pulled the wing out because that's kind of Kylie's style. Um, so next I'm going to be going ahead and finishing up the eyes by doing my lashes and I'm going to be putting on some Kiss 11 lashes. This is what they look like. Um, they are pretty natural lashes. Kylie looks like she has lash extensions going on, but they don't look too dramatic. They look pretty natural, so I think these will do the trick. And I'll obviously go ahead in and do some mascara as well, and I'll be putting on the Maybelline Lash Sensational uh, Mascara. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so I have my lashes on. Now I'm going to go ahead in and work on the lower lash line. I'm grabbing the same shade that I used to carve out my crease. And I'm just grabbing a uh, pencil brush and I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line. Alright, so lower lash line is done. Now I'm going to go ahead in and put some mascara on. Alright, so next I'm going to be contouring my face using the Huda Beauty um, Contour and Bronzer Cream in the shade Light. So this is what it looks like. And I'm going to be just using this Sephora Rouge 2018 brush to um, contour. I'm obsessed with this bronzer, you guys. I never liked cream contour. I always did powder contour, but this is the first cream contour product that I actually like and it's because it blends so effortlessly and it's so easy to use. I find that other cream products are so hard to use and they're so hard to blend and I always struggled with it so I just never really used cream contour products but I love, 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 love this product you guys. Now Kylie does have a bit of a strong contour, that's why I'm going ahead in pretty deep with this. Alright, so just to set the cream contour in place, I'm going to be using my Tom Ford bronzer in the shade um, 03, Bronze Age. So I'll just open it up. This is what it looks like. So I'm just going to be taking my Morphe E4 brush and I'm just going to set everything in place. Now just to sharpen out the edges, I'm just going to take the sponge that has a little bit of the baking powder that I use and I'm just going to sculpt out my face. Make sure that the contour looks sharp and effortless because that's how Kylie likes it. 
And then just taking the same brush that I used to wipe away all the powder, uh, the setting powder on my face. This is the Nabella Noir and Elf collection brush. I'm just going to wipe away all of that powder. So the next part of the look is probably my most exciting part and this is the blush. So Kylie is known for her blush, her statement blush that she's been wearing lately. Um, and it's this very nice pinky rosy blush that she applies like right in the center of her cheeks. And I think it looks so cute. So I grabbed two blushes from my collection that I feel like can mimic that color that she uses. I grabbed a high-end one and also a more affordable drugstore one. So I'll start with the more high-end one. I grabbed the Tarte Party Amazonian Clay 12-hour um, blush and this is what it looks like. It was part of like their birthday collection a while back. So this is what it looks like. It is super cute. It's got that baby pink white nude type of color which she loves wearing. Now a dupe for this um, that I think would work just as well is the Wet n Wild Color Icon um, blush in pearlescent pink. So this is what the packaging looks like and this is what the color looks like. So I'm thinking I will probably start with this one. They're, they're very similar but one is just a tad bit darker. This one's a bit darker but her blush changes, it varies from this shade to this shade I feel like, so I'll probably start with this and maybe add a little bit of this one, um, we'll see. So I'm going ham with the blush because she does, and it looks so cute. So I'm really like, I'm just doing circular motions in the center of my cheeks because that's kind of where she has it concentrated. And then I'll also just pull it up a tiny bit, just because I find that really helps elongate your face. Um, and that's just how I wear blush. But I'm definitely concentrating it on the center because that's how she does it. So I don't think I'm gonna go ahead in and apply this as well because um, if you add more layers of the Tarte Party, it does get darker. So I think I'm gonna just stick to this. So I'm also going to be adding a little bit of blush on my nose and just a little bit on the chin. Because it seems like Kylie does that as well. And next I'm going ahead in with highlight. I'm going to be using my Becca Champagne Pop highlight and I'm not going to put too much because it looks like Kylie doesn't really have like an intense highlight going on. It looks very natural. Gonna apply a little bit on the cupid's bow, just a little bit on the nose. All right, so for lips, I'm going to be grabbing the Elf and Nabella Noir um, lip liner, and this is in the Myra Nude um, Cocktail Kit collection. And for lipstick, I'm going to be using um, two MAC lipsticks. I'm going to be mixing Whirl, which is a very nice dark mauve shade. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to mix that with Velvet Teddy, which is a very nice pinky nude uh, kind of color. So this is what it looks like. So I'm going to start off with um, Velvet Teddy, which is the lighter shade, and then I will darken it up with Whirl. Alright guys, so that concludes the end of the video. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I am obsessed with this look, you guys. It looks so 
effortless but it's also very very glam and it looks so pretty I'm definitely going to be wearing this out it was so so easy to recreate her makeup look um, I just took a bunch of different photo references from Instagram and kind of came up with this um, this is kind of the standard of what Kylie has been doing lately um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any suggestions on tutorials that you guys would like me to do whether it's another celebrity makeup look or just for any occasion make sure to comment down below and let me know and I'll definitely follow up on those and of course all the products that I used in this video will be listed down below in the description box so make sure to check that out and if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so you will know every time I upload a new video um, so that's all for today guys I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys